Hi guys, today we will do a bit of a wear test video, feedback video about my Colourpop order I had a few weeks ago. So I was able to wear, I think, most of the things, but let's get started. So I think the first thing I would mention is I really like the packaging. I mean, look at this. This is how when you buy like one of these, um, I don't know, Super Shadow, what's it called? Super Shadow Shock Collections. Um, it's really nice. It comes in a sleeve. And then you open it up and it is cardboard yes but it's actually really nice and sturdy and you can actually repurpose the box afterwards if you want to you just have to somehow remove the inside out but it's it's really lovely it's very sturdy very nice I love the design on it with the little stars and as you can see it's like foiled really pretty then the lipsticks well at least the ones I had um, I ordered they have like this little um, star design here on the top um, then the Lux lipsticks they're very cute with the little stars on the packaging and even when you open them up they have the star design on the bullet itself focus on the bullet itself as well so that is really nice they had even had like a little detail um, inside the box they have the little star design as well very cute and when you order a single super shock shadow they're in a cute little box Cute little pen very nice um, like it so the packaging itself I really like I think um, even the lids from the um, liquid lipsticks they're actually they seem to be metal on top of the plastic so that's very nice and these ones are metal as well on top of the plastic so that's very nice as well now generally speaking I think the issue I have is it's not in any shop here in the UK so when you order Firstly, you, of course, you can't swatch it, which can be problematic, especially with the lipstick, because, for example, with the lipstick, one of the Lux lipsticks I actually will pass on to a friend because it looks very different on me than it looked online, so I can't wear it, and I prefer to pass it on before I let it go back bad. And the other thing is as well, because you order online, these Super Shock shadows, they're huge. I mean, they're 2.1 gram, which is a very decent size. And it will take you ages to go through one of them. So when you order outside of the US, you and because you have to pay delivery, um, of course, sometimes they have these offer on, on, on top of a certain amount. You don't have to pay for international delivery. But you try to get a lot of stuff in and then it might actually cause you to ordering more than you want to, which is an issue as well. But now let's come to the wear test itself. Itself, the products are really nice. I really really like them apart from the color from one of the um, Lux lipsticks but that's the color it's a personal preference the lipstick itself is fine um, my super shadow shock collection so I had the polite AF one and they're all really nice so I tried them all out I actually was watching them for you this is called stereo I mean the quality is just amazing one thing I should say though because they're very very soft and moussey in their consistency so I actually prefer to put them on with my fingers or with a sponge tip applicator because I find with the brush they don't pick up as nicely look at this that's just amazing this one is called sequin very whoops very very nice oh no I went into it look at that oh well it's not too bad I don't mind it actually Let's wipe that off the packaging. Then next one is Deep Dive. Very, very nice. They're all super, super creamy. So quality wise, they're just so good. It's really a shame that they're not in more shops overseas. I hope they will actually change that at some point and come more to the overseas market because one of the other issues I had, to be honest, um, I ordered to the UK, I live in London, and yes, I placed my order, I knew what to expect, and I also knew there will be um, tax charges when it arrives, which will be extra, but the tax charges were so expensive. I paid, my order was worth roughly, I think, £50, or was it £40? And I paid another £17. Um, on the tax charges when it got uh, when it arrived here, so that was a bit of a bummer. Oh, sorry, this shade actually 
which I just put on his birthday cake. This one is really nice. It reminds me a bit um, of one of the Pat McGrath shades. I have, I think, one of the VR Nectar um, ones. And this one is called Birthday Girl. Really, really nice. These two actually tend to be a bit more sheer. And what I like to do with them, I also like to actually use them as a topper. More like... For the inner corner eye part of the eye but look at this i mean this is literally one swatch with the finger and if you use your finger they will both perform on the eye like that as well if you use a brush actually let me show it to you where's the brush i don't find them as good let's take one of the darker ones so let's take a brush and look i'm not even joking so go in a few more and this is quite a good one it's a flat pack up brush look it's not good like this one if you use your finger look this is the problem what some people sometimes have everyone is looking out for swatch videos with the finger but it might completely um, have a difference if you actually use it on the eye especially if you do use brushes so this one i really love this one is the one called twitter painted i got this one because um someone suggested it also as one of the dupes for the pat mcgrath vr nectar ones it's nice but it's not the same it has like a very purpley pinky undertone and a huge lovely glittery shine it's very very um see-through this so it's really really nice to use this one as a topper which is very nice. I like it. I really like it. Then, let's put these aside. So Super Shock Shadows, brilliant. Saying that though, they are huge. And because you can't swap, you um, if, if you, if you not, not, not swap, if you can't swatch them in a shop or anything, um, you you might over order them on, online, which might be an issue. But I love them. Now, let's come to the lipsticks. So I've got two Luxe lipsticks. Um, one is in the color Stone Fox. Actually, let's use the other one. Let's switch my hands. Let's put it here. Very nice. Focus. Pinkish color. It has a really good color payoff on the skin. I must say though, I don't like it full on on my lips. I actually like to sheer it out and use a gloss on top of it. Because it's just a bit too pink otherwise. And it looks a bit too much like 60s style. And this one is called Uno Mas. And this one was a bit of a disappointment because I really liked looking at it online. But the problem is it's just too much of a terracotta orange to me. So unfortunately it doesn't look good on me. So this one is the one I will pass on. There we go. Really, really nice. So very nice creamy formula. And um, you don't need much swipes to actually have them. And quite an opaque transfer on the lip. They do transfer, by the way, so they're not like um, transfer-proof lipsticks. Now, these ones I really like. Um, they are the Satin Formula Liquid Lipsticks from um, Colourpop. I love them. Firstly, I love them because the formula, they're not as drying as the Ultra Matte ones. Um, and what I also like on them, and that's an interesting bit, I actually like the size of them. Because the thing is, if you buy too many liquid lipsticks, we ever use them up. Or... By the time you use them up, they might get old and the formula is not as nice anymore. So I really love when you actually can get little collections from certain lipsticks just to have a bit of variety in your collection and don't have to worry that you have to use it up or even if you don't use them up. But I'm less upset chucking a small one out, which I know I might have even used halfway through, than a big one, which I only used a tiny little bit by the time the formula gets bad. So this one is the color... Barracuda. Let's watch them. They're actually really nice. And this one I was really surprised because I did not like the swatch first when I swatched first on my hands. But I actually do like it on my lips even though I'm usually not into really dark lipsticks. But I mean, look at this. Just really nice. This one is the color Lion King. Lovely. It's a nice deep red purpley this one is like a mauvey color this one is called dopey really like it then we have 
Echo Park. Really nice. Like a nude mauve colour. Well, this one is more like a pinky nude called Schnookums. I hope I said that correctly. So there we go. I mean, focus. There we go. They're just really. I'm filming filming in daylight today, so that's quite nice. I really, really am surprised how good they look on the lips. I really, really like them. So I'm very happy with them. So overall, ColourPop are price-wise really good. The quality you get is very good for the price you pay. You need to take into consideration though if you order it from outside of the states and you don't have a shop where you can buy it. Take into consideration any tax charges you might have if it arrives in your country. Take into consideration um, the postage, if it's not free at the time for international orders. So, because then it can be, it's 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 not cheap anymore. I don't want to say it's up in price there, because it's still quite affordable. But it definitely might be not as cheap as you think it is. Overall, I mean, I just love the colors. I'm really, really happy with it. But I don't think I will any order... I will order any any more anytime soon purely because they are huge these eyeshadows and I don't want to have my collection too big I just use up what I have so yeah that's it for me thank you so much for watching and see you next time